Hello! Okay, I am getting ready to do a big giant monthly grocery shopping trip. That means, yes, I am going grocery shopping for one morning and I'm gonna get all the groceries I need except for fresh produce. I'm gonna go shopping for all of that tomorrow. So I am prepping for that. So I thought I would just kind of like take you along in my day as I get things going. It was a long giant list. I shopped my fridge, freezer, and pantry. And now this is what my new dinner grocery list looks like. Welcome back to my channel. I'm Brittany. This is where you can come for tips, motivation, just family friendly entertainment to help strengthen families one home at a time. So if you are looking for just uplifting, helpful content that is family friendly, this is the place. So hit that subscribe button so you don't miss anything. And if you want to, you could click that notification bell so then you really make sure that um, you know when we have new stuff out for you. So this video i am going to walk you through my um actually what the system looks like to get ready to do an entire month's worth of grocery shopping why would you want to do an entire month's worth of grocery shopping well the reason that i choose to do it is i felt like when i was only doing weekly meal planning coordinate it's all part of the bundle. When I was doing weekly meal planning, I felt like, oh my goodness, I'm always meal planning. I'm always grocery shopping, grocery shopping. I felt like by the time I like had things done, it just was coming around too quickly. So then I went to bi-weekly. So I was doing two weeks at a time, meal planning and grocery shopping. And then I just doubled that to do monthly grocery shopping. So it saves me a ton of time. And before I started this system, we were spending over a thousand dollars a month on groceries for our family of just two when it was just hubby night a thousand dollars on food now we spend around five hundred dollars to feed our family of five so it's hubby and i and then we have a 10 eight and six year old currently so um i do monthly grocery hauls so you can check out the playlist we'll link that down below um and maybe we can also put in an i card up here for you guys um to show you actually what it looks like to do a month's worth of grocery shopping um but this is the prep work i'm going to show you it is like we're not lying it does take some time but it's worth it because if I'm like, for example, we are going out of town next week. When we get back, I already know what's for dinner. I already have a grocery list ready to go for the fresh produce. I have everything else. So if I don't get to the grocery store right away when we get home, it's not a big deal. So it saves us a ton of time. And what are we going to do with that time we saved? We're going to spend it together as a family on things that we care about, on the things that are a priority to us, and on spending just that quality, intentional time with my family. And I'm not in the room with them, but I'm not present and I'm thinking, about like what's for dinner that has been taken care of and you have to feed your family every single day right it's something we can't get around so the whole point of this is that you do a little bit of work ahead of time it's gonna save you a huge headache down the line um, and it's gonna also save you a ton of money all right so the first thing you need to do is get together a meal plan so a lot of these things will apply to weekly but you can make it um, start weekly then double that you have bi-weekly double that you have monthly you have to save some money ahead of time if you have any questions Questions about this process leave them down in the comments I'm thinking about putting together um, a quick like online course for you guys about monthly grocery shopping what do you think about that would that be something you'd be interested in actually like learning more detailed so I'm just gonna show you how it goes so I have my monthly meal plan let me show you this is actually um we have meal planning on a budget membership and um we share the meal plan that our family actually uses every single month this is back in August so you're probably watching this in September if you do the pro membership you have an option of a few different meal plans otherwise you get access to our crowd pleaser so we have the um, crowd pleaser meal plan a whole ingredient meal plan low carb meal plan gluten-free dairy-free meal plan and these are brand new meal plans every single month this is what it looks like so this was for august you guys are now in september we have 
five meals for every single week because you only need to cook for five meals. I explain all of this inside the membership. We have the fresh grocery list, but then we also, where to go, provide you with the complete grocery list. So um, I'll show you more in detail, but this is the complete grocery list. So lucky for me, I have this already done ahead of time. So you have um, your monthly meal plan and then I have the grocery list to go along with it. If you're in the membership, you have this big giant um, grocery list. It is color coded. So if you're not up to monthly meal planning yet, you can see that um, it's color coded. So week one is purple, week two is blue, three is red, four is orange. So if you're just shopping by week, you can still do it that way. But for me, so what I do is I log into meal planning on a budget membership. We will link it down below if you want more information. It's only five bucks a month for the basic, 10 bucks a month for the um, pro so you get access to different um, dietary needs. Um, our family kind of bounces back and forth between using the crowd pleaser and the whole ingredient. So for the month of August, we are using the whole um, whole ingredient, which just means it's based around like proteins and then fresh fruits and veggies. It's delicious. Um, and if you follow me on Instagram, then you'll see me actually cooking these things in real time and how I actually use the meal plan on a like a daily basis. It's a daily thing. I cannot live without a meal plan. I thought about doing a video on like what my week looks like if I don't have a meal plan, but it stresses me out so much that I don't know if I can bring myself to do it. So anyways, so you need your meal plan and then I have this grocery list put together. So this is every single item that I need. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go into the kitchen and we're going to go take inventory of things that we need and things that I need for these. This is just dinner. Remember that this is just dinner. So there's other things that I have to include in this. So, okay, so we're gonna take this grocery list with us and we're gonna go to the kitchen and check it out. Now this grocery list um, is edible. So you can do this. Let me put this in here. You can do this on your own. You don't need our membership. I just had a lot of people asking for me to share my meal plan. This was the easiest way for us to get it out to a bunch of different people. We have over 500 members now, which is amazing. We're so excited to have everyone in there. I just love that we we're able to eliminate that stress and help families save money so you can be more intentional with your time, more intentional with your money, spend that money on things that you actually care about, maybe some fun family trips. We can help you do that, but you can still do this on your own. Just look on Pinterest, look through your cookbooks, what are some of your family's favorites, make a meal plan, and then make a grocery list based off of that. We're gonna add to this grocery list in a minute. So this grocery list currently is just for dinners, but I'm gonna show you what I'm gonna do. And then also don't forget that this is real life. You guys, if you're new here, I always share my real life. I don't clean up the house a lot before I film. Sometimes I, I will clean up a little bit, but I don't go through extensive links. I just wanna show real life. I don't wanna create an unrealistic expectation for anybody, anybody's families. So you will see dirty dishes. You will see dirty laundry. That was clean laundry. I'm washing my bedding today. You will see kids toys left out. We just keep it real here. That's what we are here for. We are here to help support each other and um, to motivate each other, not to make each other feel bad or make you feel like you have these unrealistic expectations to live up to. There's no expectations here, we're just sharing. Okay, so I have this grocery list and what I'm gonna do is just start going through it. You can pull this up on your phone also. A piece of paper and a pencil also works. So I did just do um, a video. I don't know if it's gonna be posted before this or after this, so make sure you're subscribed. Check out our previously, um, all the playlists and um, things like that. But I just cleaned out my fridge and oh my goodness. I'm gonna be honest, I've opened this fridge several times to look at how clean it is. Will ya look at it? Let's just take a moment to really appreciate because before we go grocery shopping, especially for a month, I wanna make sure that I know what I have in here so I'm not buying double and I wanna make sure that there's room for all those groceries. So I did clean it out and I've got a little list of kind of like our basics that we need. So I wrote those down right here. I'll add them to the list in a minute. But for now, I'm just gonna go through this list, check and make sure you're gonna shop your fridge, freezer, and pantry first before you even look at the sales. And I'm gonna show you how to cater 
what your meal plan says and make substitutions to what you already have at home, that's gonna save you some money too. Okay, so let's get a before of what this grocery list looks like. Before I shop my fridge, freezer, and pantry, these are all the ingredients. So imagine if I were to go to the store right now and just buy all of this, how much that would cost. Okay, now I'm gonna shop my fridge, freezer, and pantry first, cross and delete anything off that I already have, and then I'm gonna show you what the after is. that I'm looking through as I'm going through this, I'm also remembering things like, oh yeah, I love to have cottage cheese as a snack and I know we don't have any in there, so I'm gonna add that to my list as I'm going through. Also, I'm thinking about like lunch staples and breakfast staples. I know that I always really like to have um, English muffins, so I'm gonna add that over here. English muffins. Um, as I'm updating this list, I'm also adding to it, not just taking things off. I've updated the dinner grocery list. We're gonna add to this, but remember what it looked like before. It was a long, giant list. I shopped my fridge, freezer, and pantry, and now this is what my new dinner grocery list looked like. Bam! Oh my goodness, can you tell what a huge difference that is? Think of how much money I'm saving myself by just shopping my fridge, freezer, and pantry first. Look at this is like completely condensed. These are the only things that I need to buy for my dinners. So I have done a grocery haul where I separated the dinner groceries from everything else to kind of give you an idea of like where, um, what portion of our budget goes to what. We'll link those before. So it's like a dinner grocery haul and then snack, breakfast, and lunch grocery haul to kind of like give you an idea. We have lots of helpful videos for you. I hope this helps. Hope this gets your mind thinking of how you can start implementing even just a weekly meal planning, um, planned out grocery shopping trip to help you save time, save money, so you can spend your time and spend your money on the things that you and your family care most about. Be more present with your family. Have more fun with your family. This helps. All right, so these are all of my dinner groceries. I have a few things I need to add um, as far as our staples go, and then I'm gonna think through. Um, we do breakfast and lunch just kind of like on a rotating um, system. Our dinners, we have a large variety. We don't like duplicate many recipes at all in our meal plan so it's like a variety of different flavors um to cater to everybody in the family but when it comes to breakfast and lunch we kind of stick to the same thing so i'm going to make sure that we have those things so let me just give you an idea so i have ketchup on here i like to have um dried fruit as a snack um we have shredded cheese on here we do need to buy some candy for um a parade that we're in so I'm gonna add that. I do need some Italian dressing and salsa. Do I already have salsa on here? No, so we're gonna add salsa. Um, and then fresh food. Let me get down here. Fresh food, I need, I'm gonna get some apples. I usually get bananas, but we're gonna be out of town next week, so I don't want that. Apples and whatever. I'm just gonna write fruit, like snacking fruit, so that way um, I can just buy whatever looks good. You know how sometimes it doesn't look great in the store? So whatever looks good, and then whatever is in season and on sale, that's gonna help us save money. Now, another thing um, I do usually stock up on Costco is cereal. And um, we do smoothies, so I have stuff on here for smoothies. We do cereal, and then we do muff like homemade muffins and homemade waffles. We have plenty of peanut butter um, syrup. I think I'll put syrup on my list. But I'm thinking about school lunches, because we start school the end of August. Did you start in August, or are you starting in September? Let me know. Um, so school lunches, so I need to put on here um, snacks 
for lunches and then we just also have a snack cupboard down here so those are kind of things that I'm thinking through and I'm adding to the list right now I'll meet you back at my desk when I'm done other thing I do is all month long I keep a running list of um, groceries that I need my phone so this could be like miscellaneous items this can be just random things so let me show you so this is a list that I keep in my phone so when uh, we come up with something that we need I put it in my phone and then do we do everything we can to not go to the grocery store and buy it because the more you go to the grocery store the more you're gonna impulse buy and then the more you're gonna spend so like for example I have flour we need a shower head for our shower eggs we need sunscreen um shampoo conditioner so i'm gonna add these things to my list that's on the computer now bird seed i told you it's super random the trick is to do your best to not go to the store to impulse buy or shop on amazon we are guilty of that but we're we're working on it so now that i have this list on my grocery shopping list that i'm gonna go get tomorrow i'm gonna delete it from my phone and now I have a blank slate ready to go for the next month that's the trick I've got my grocery list done let me show you so I have added in everything I need it took me a minute because I also had to factor in camping so I have them categorized the dairy section baking goods frozen meat pantry items and then miscellaneous would be things like hand soap bird seed kebab sticks I'm telling you it is like very random now pay attention because this is a very important step to make sure that you stick to your budget you'll see that in this column next to every single item I have it over here too I have an estimated price um, I can teach you how to do that if you want but um, so every single item has an estimated price I put things that I'm gonna buy from t um, Costco in black things that I'm gonna buy from Target in purple um, but I have one budget for everything and so my budget normally is $500 but you can see it's 604 so I'm about $100 over budget which is actually perfect because I'm adding on $150 to my normal 500 budget to splurge and get some extra treats for camping. I also really like to print my grocery list and then I'm super nerdy I know but I love it I always bring it on the clipboard with I have to make sure I have a pen if I don't have a pen and I can't cross things off it makes life so much harder so I always like to actually have a physical copy I just don't like to have my phone out with on me like all the time you know so the point is everybody's budget is gonna be um, different depending on what you prioritize a as a family what your income what your expenses look like as a family the point is that you plan ahead. You get your grocery list ready ahead of time with the estimated costs. And then you adjust those as you go and you learn as you go. That way if you get to check out and something's completely off, then you know something's wrong. Um, and you adjust it while you're in store. I show you how I do that in all my grocery hauls too. So that's one thing that I do. And then the next thing I do is that I um, order grocery pickup. Actually, I said I was going to Target. I'm actually gonna do a Walmart pickup because the Walmart on the way home from Costco, we don't live close to anything, but I'm gonna stop at the Walmart pickup on my way home from Costco. So I went into Walmart's app and I am put in um, all of those things that I put in, all the things for my grocery list that were in purple, I added to my cart. And then I'm scheduling my grocery pickup for on my way home from Costco. So I'm estimating that I'm going to be at Costco probably anywhere from like 10 a.m. to noon. Um, so I'm going to probably schedule my pickup for around 1 p.m. Um, so I can just pick it up on my way home. So that is pretty much what it looks like. Now I just have to go make sure that my wallet is ready to go. Um, I have my backpack. Um, I usually get some water and then some snacks for myself as well in my backpack because it is quite a process. Now, we've linked so many videos down in the description, so make sure and go check them out. And please leave me all those questions that you might have about how to do monthly grocery shopping. And if you want some help that's going to save you some time, you're going to love our meal planning on a budget membership. We keep improving it all the time, and we're actually working on creating an app um, so it's even more user-friendly and easy for on-the-go grocery shopping. 
and that kind of thing. It's gonna make it awesome, but it's already, um, it's already ready to go. It's already ready for you, ready to go. We have that linked down below. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you are new, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. And as always, if you guys share this video, if you thought it was helpful, if you thought it was entertaining, please share it, text it to somebody, share it on your social media. That helps us out a lot. And even just clicking that thumbs up button really helps us. Thanks you guys so much for watching and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.